in some jurisdictions in the U.S., there is um, rising uh, reported hospital admissions with COVID. And in some cases, uh, uh, examples of rising deaths. Um, and this has uh, caused considerable policy discussion about whether it is time to reinstate mandates, such as the consideration of mask mandates in LA County. The challenge that we have in understanding what's happening with BA5 is that this is a very common infection we see lots of evidence of considerable transmission in the community that is not translating into a big surge in reported cases, largely because we believe there's so much rapid antigen testing at home. Now, uh, we do see rising numbers of uh, hospital admissions. And the challenge, as we've spoken about before, is distinguishing incidental that is people coming to the hospital with some other problem that happened to be COVID positive when they get tested from true COVID uh, admissions. Now, unfortunately in this country, we don't have um, data on uh, COVID admissions where they are positive for COVID and that's the reason for admission. Some hospital systems are reporting this. Uh, there are reports from USC, for example, in LA County, that fully 90% of hospital admissions are incidental. Meaning it is quite possible that we don't have a reason to be that concerned about BA5 transmission. That it could well be that because of highish levels of immunity in the population from vaccination and from past infection and, you know, quite widespread use of Paxlovid, if we look at the data in the US, that there isn't really cause for uh, concern that there's gonna be a large amount of severe COVID. Meaning perhaps that it is not the time at this point uh, to be considering imposition of uh, new mandates such as mask mandates or social distancing mandates. Now, this is a phenomenon we're seeing in other countries as well. It's not unique to the United States. There's reports from New Zealand, for example, uh, in the last few days of a marked increase in daily deaths. And again, this challenge is there as well as in many countries in Europe, Norway, another example, where incidental from underlying is not being distinguished. And it could will be that just BA5 is a very common infection. Now, the only way we're going to really resolve this for the future is if uh, national surveillance systems make the effort to track hospitalizations and distinguish them by the cause, uh, uh, the underlying cause of admission. Uh, but you know, we remain reasonably positive and optimistic about the course of BA5 in the US and elsewhere. Uh, we do see early signs that it may have peaked already in the US and be starting to come down. And of course, that's not true for every state, but in general, it does seem to be following the course that we've seen in other countries around the world.